All right, we're gonna do a little good old rider wait for this Monday. Welcome, this is Raven, this is my channel. I'm doing daily tarot, I'm doing witchcraft, I'm doing crystals. And today, Monday, we're gonna see what's gonna come through with the classic. Uh, let us see, let us see. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. uh-huh, uh-huh. So we got the emperor yesterday. So that's coming through for sure. And we have a little, a little loss, a little, what? Cage of the mind. Um, this is a, an interesting juxtaposition. The emperor is such a powerful card. Maybe this is the medicine of this kind of stricture. I'm gonna start in the middle with the eight of swords. This is prison of the mind, I'm gonna say. That's how I like to think of it. Um, you know, I usually put that a little more uh, positively. <laughs> really, um, the counsel in this card is that it's only a prison of the mind. She's not surrounded by swords. They're actually kind of like on the sides of her and her, her her uh, bonds, her bandages, her ropes are, are kind of loose. Like she really has the ability to step over the puddle and realize that um, there are more more options than than it initially than initially there seems to be. So this is a, a card of empowerment on the flip side of feeling disempowered, feeling penned in. Um, and that it's a bit in the idea of the situation more than in the situation itself. So there's a bit of that going on today. And then there is the five of cups. And I'm going to say these two things are very much related. This feeling of being penned in with this feeling of loss. So this is a card of loss, of just standing in your grief staring at that spilt milk, staring down at the ground. Um, you know, I never really noticed this like bridge and, and, and homestead and river in the background. Like his means of escape, means of transition is right there. So it's just sort of like a pause before he or she or they look up and to the left a little bit and find the bridge, the means of transition out of this period of loss. And um, of course, the upright cups, that which has not been lost. So I feel I've always felt that this card kind of gives way, gives um, kind of a bit of respect to that period of the grieving process in which you um, kind of should just stand in your traces for a while and um, wait for the moment when you can look up and get that other perspective, which of course is always available. So this is a card of change in perspective, as is this one. Two cards of change in perspective a bit of a two cards of uh, mm, prison of the mind. Um, and this one is sort of maybe a little more specific about what it is that is feeling so difficult, which is some kind of an emotional loss. Um, which brings us to the emperor. The emperor being uh, the ground of all this, you know, major arcana card is always going to have a little more weight. It's going to describe what's going on in the other cards. Um, the emperor, which we got yesterday, is about stepping into personal power. So it's authority. Um, in the traditional or a common interpretation of this card is authority, masculine authority, father figures, top down, kind of patriarchy. Um, but we want to look deeper than that. Uh, there's a lot of problems with the tarot. <laughs> 
it comes from a specific time, place, and culture, and yet it speaks the truth, and truth goes beyond all of those things. It describes an archetype, um, and the, the non-shadow part of masculine authority is, um, it's kind of like an ownership of personal power rather than one that does, uh, that uh, claims that position rather than living into it by taking power away from others. So that's where all of this has gone terribly, terribly awry. But, uh, so this is an Aries card. The Empress is Aries and Aries is the first sign of the Zodiac. It is, it is the personality bursting through the veil to say, here I am. Uh, Aries asserts itself. Aries is the I am. And you know there's all of that uh, woo-woo mumbo-jumbo <laughs> about I am being kind of the, um, the most basic, pure uh, emanation of the divine. Um, so obviously I don't really think it's mumbo-jumbo, but it's a little obtuse, the I am that you hear in metaphysical stories is the voice of Aries. It's the voice of creation. It's manifestation. Manifestation coming through and and declaring itself. Um, so this is a bit of standing in your gifts and your right of being and I really think it looks back into childhood trauma in this case because you have this loss and you have this feeling of being penned in mentally. Um, and there is a a core of any of us who have been wounded at an early age, which is frankly most or all of us. Um, and that is this ambivalence about manifesting, about being here, about this being really a, such a great idea. Why on earth did I come into this body after all? It's not very safe here. This is um, not a good situation that I put myself in or that I felt put into and the emperor asks us to take ownership of that, to be like, yeah, so there's somehow I chose this for some reason and I am gonna find out what it is. I own that. I own this. Um, it kind of takes away the victimhood. Um, whether or not you were truly a victim, I think that we can say that we're talking about childhood woundings, that we're talking about victims here. And yet, um, then we have an opportunity to kind of change perspective on it later in life. Uh, and kings too are, are a later in life thing. They're the consciousness of the suit. They're the, that, is, that is part of the process of maturity. So um, yeah, that's what I have for us today. There's some sort of like inner child Oh, healing and owning happening coming through. So, um, you know, seek out some support in that. Seek out some, some gentleness with yourself. It is, after all, a child we're talking about. They respond to being uh, listened to quite well. So, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Good. That's good. It gives us tools. Um, all right, well, if this has been your reading for today, please like and subscribe. Please take care of yourself. Um, and go ahead and click on the bio or the uh, banner, the links there, if you like what you've heard and you want to hear more for yourself individually, even more individually. I have a good new year package up um, for a, a great discount for a new year tarot reading for you guys. And of course, I also do crystal healings here in Los Angeles. So much love to you and I will see you tomorrow. Goodbye.